The settings option allows you to enter a specific name for your system, such as lake house, guest house, or office in the system name. You can turn on the default system toggle to make this the first system displayed when opening the virtual keypad app. You can choose to save your user code so you don't have to retype it each time you log in. You can choose Fahrenheit or Celsius for the default temperature units for thermostats and local weather. The Today widget can be added to the Today screen on your smartphone. Select the Today widget and choose up to five favorites to be displayed in the widget on the Today screen. When you display the Today screen on your smartphone, the favorite will be displayed. Select a favorite to activate without having to open the app. Users can change their virtual keypad password from their mobile device. Select Save to save the new password. You may choose to receive push notifications for your system, including alarm events, arming and disarming, troubles, sensor activity. When you create a geofence in Geofences, your device needs to check your location to determine when you enter or exit the geofence. The following describes each option. Low, the best battery usage but will result in less frequent location updates. Medium, the balanced location updates with less battery consumption than high but more than low. High, the most location updates but may result in reduced battery performance. Geofence Devices allows the app user to delete devices no longer used with the app. Reload retrieves updated information from all your available systems. The Online Help opens the Online Help files in the default web browser. Select Logout to log out of the app. 